that's it. I hate pie and fun and everything that's good in the world. And then we just kept on going. <laughs> right past King Tut's. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure that your wife is the one that said, No, you can't do this. My wife like that. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm here. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Red Pup Adventures. This week, Joanne and I are headed over to our original home state of West Virginia, where we're joined by our oldest son, Logan, and his wife, Lindsay, and take a trip into one of the nation's newest national parks. Uh, the New River Gorge National River was recently renamed to a national park, where it became the 63rd national park in the country. Uh, the national park encompasses about 70,000 acres in the mountains of West Virginia, and the New River itself is one of the continent's oldest rivers. So we are at the New River National Park. Um, the signs still say National River, but it has been made into a national park. We are actually at the Grand View section. Wow, this is gorgeous. Did you see that? I did. He's, he's living on the edge. Literally. Is that the tunnel? Uh, it feels like maybe it was at one point. Alright, we're going to. We're going to. Aren't we, Sal? We're going to get in here. Record me going into the hole, dear. I may be back. I may not. Ooh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah, it's all boarded up. You used to be able to get through, right, do you? Maybe we can go over it now. We're in a hole in the ground. I'm a hobbit. So the hobbit hop?
So we are at historic Thurmond, West Virginia. What do you think of Thurmond, West Virginia? I think it's Thurmondy. There's a train station over there. We're gonna check that out. And I would like to play post office. I'd like to play a Thurmond in Thurmond. That's a great idea. I wonder if they have one. Hey, tell us the story of Thurmond. There's a story you know. Uh, apparently, there was a 12-year-long card game that happened here, a poker match. It's getting shorter. I thought you told us it was 14 years. 14? I don't know. It was Something a lot like of that. years. But it was like the longest poker match ever, right? Yeah. That's Did anyone die or anything? Let's see. Uh, please hold. Um, according to Wikipedia, the best of the best. Uh, let's see. Dunglen Hotel... Yes, the Glen, Dun Glen Hotel on Mikkel Land, just to the east of the Thurmond Land, became notorious. Oh, it wasn't even in Thurmond. It was in Dun Glen. Why are we in Thurmond? There's Dun Glen is where the 14-year poker match. Happened. You can ignore this portion oh of our gosh. of our video. <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody else is as impressed as I am, but this is really cool because this is a brick street that is basically telling Thurman's history as you walk along. Um, the beige stones are literally year by year um, important things that happened here, and then the red stones have like in memory of and for people and businesses have, I guess, just bought stones to have put in here. Um, one of the stones I saw was for somebody who was born in 18, 1867, I can't remember now, something like that, um, and, and died in like 1901, and then there was someone that um, had a memory stone on here as recent as 2011. I just think it's fantastic. So I'm here with my daughter-in-law. She is not appreciating Thurman as much as I am. Thurman is, has historical significance to the coal fields here in West Virginia. She's Canadian. She doesn't understand these things. I, I never coal mined. Huh. Huh. Okay, we are no longer in downtown Thurman. Now we're just in regular Thurman. We are driving out this road in the big old truck. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, we just turned around because we weren't sure how much further this road went. So we are at the uh, New River Gorge, uh, the New River Bridge overlook. Uh, the kids and Joanne actually went down the stairs. It's about 178 steps down, and my knees weren't just weren't filling up to it today. So Big Red and I are sitting at the overlook, uh, at the top, oh, the upper level overlook, uh, watching the cars go by on the New River Bridge.
like I am remembering now that this is the place that we came, like back when Tiger was in kindergarten, that made me realize that I wanted to get in shape, was because walking up these stairs. Oh, really? Yeah, I have the feeling hopefully that happens again. So, so tell me about this layup. Her name is Monkey, and we have a small farm in West Virginia and have her mom. And her mom had triplets, and she was the runt and wasn't keeping up with the other two. So we brought her in the house and model fed her. Her son had a soccer game in Beckley this morning, and we have to feed her every five hours. So and she kind of just follows you around like a puppy. Yeah. Whoever they imprint as their mom is who they So are you mom? <laughs> and she she goes to work with you. Oh yeah, she goes to work and she runs up down the hallway. I work National Guard and she goes up down the hallway there and on the stairs and everything. Just she's kind of the unofficial mascot at work. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's really she'll cool. She's about she'll be four weeks old on Monday. Wow, four weeks. But she'll get to be about 175 pounds. She's considered a pentaden lamb or sheep. So she actually will lose her hair rather than have to shear her. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, we are at King Tut's Drive In Restaurant. And uh, we are getting pie today because it's supposed to be like fresh, big daily, really good pie. But then we didn't realize it had all of this stuff too. So we may have to come back because I really want a banana milkshake. And um, Marshall really wants chicken lover. Ew. Um, it's a pretty cool place. I'm sitting here a little bit, but every time we have come by, it has been just completely crowded like this. It's just like row after row of two cars waiting in line for stuff. And Logan and Lindsay are really excited about it. Yeah, we're stoked. But yeah, yeah. I'm getting chocolate. All right, you ready? You want the history? Yes. It's a vintage West Virginia drive-in. King Tut Drive-In is a family-owned business focusing on serving high-quality food for people on the go. We're located in Beckley, West Virginia and have been in business as a dry, true drive-in restaurant since the Tutwilers opened it back in early 1940s. Ooh. In 1955, John McKay purchased it and it's been in the, our family ever since. Eating at King Tut, we are proud to say, is both a glimpse into history and like coming home. Thank you again for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, we hope that you will like it uh, and subscribe to our channel and click the little bell for notifications of future videos.